Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Smith. And I'm Lolly. And together, we're, we're Smith, Smith and Lolly. Hey babe, yeah. guess what day it is? It's Monday. It's Monday. We know what that means. It's movie Monday. Movie Monday! <laughs> it's madness! Welcome to Movie Mondays, and today we're going to be discussing the film They Them. It's an LGBTQ RS Elemental P H I J plus plus movie. <laughs> I'm just playing. Don't cancel me. I'm just getting started. But all jokes aside, uh, it's a, it's an LGBTQ movie, but overall, it's just a movie. That's the important part. It's a Peacock original film. It's a horror film starring Kevin Bacon. Um, it just came out in 2022, and we're gonna, we're gonna give it give it our little take on it. So it's not in Smith's Minute Movie Mash. So that means I didn't think it was trash, but we'll tell you what we did think about it. So make sure you stick around to the end so we can give you our ratings. Is it Smith and Lally approved? Let's find out. Alright, so this movie is about um, some young kids who are sent to like a conversion camp. If you don't know what a conversion camp is, this is something where you send teens to try to make them straight. Listen, we don't give any opinions one way or the other. I'm here just to simply talk about the movie, but that's the premise of it. And when they get there, it's a, it's a stalker film, it's a slasher film, and someone is going around murdering people. So, you know, we don't give spoilers. We're spoiler-free review. Um, so we're just going to tell you what we thought about the movie. Lolly, what do you think? I, in my opinion, I think it was a good movie. Um, it picked up more towards the end. Um, it was a little bit slow in the beginning for me. It did a lot of character building, which was cool, um, but it was it was okay. Towards the end, it gave it a lot of action, but at the same time, it's like, okay, what's next? Yeah, I would admit, um, now I'm gonna say like this, the movie kept my attention um, the whole way. It's a whodunit. I'm not gonna lie to you. And what was really cool is it wasn't obvious. Like there were certain people that you're like, oh, this person's gotta be yeah. the killer. And then when you think it's them, you're like, okay, maybe it's not. And maybe it's this other person. Or maybe it's this person. Or maybe it's that person. You know, it's madness. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely get the attention of that. Like you couldn't figure it out who it was in the beginning. Yeah, and, and that was good. I think because it was a slasher film, it could have had a little bit more slashing. Like that's what I like from my slasher films. Um, I don't think it was. Now it has low ratings. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like Ryan Tomatoes and stuff like that. I think it's just because of the subject matter. You know, some people yeah. aren't, um, you know, open to things like that. But I don't think they. It wasn't over the top. It wasn't crazy. It wasn't too much. Like you, you know what I mean. Um, but it, it was a it was a decent film. So if you just look at it as just a movie and not worry about oh it's LGBTQ. It was, it was. I thought it was pretty enjoyable. I think it was just two separate scenes that caught me off guard. It's just like it just happened. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah. wow. <laughs> um, so be warned about that. But other than that, and they, they were they were, they were pretty quick scenes. They came kind of out of the blue. Yeah. But um, as far as like gore level and stuff like that, it wasn't super gory because Lolly's not in the super gore. Mm -hmm. Um, I am. So it was, it was gory enough for me, but not over gore uh, for her. Um, and 
like I said, overall, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. It was. The the action picked up in the in the in the third uh, part of the film, in the final third. Um, but you know, it, it, okay, let me back it up. It started with action. It jumped right into action right yes. away. And then it was a long pause in between where it didn't have a whole lot of action, but they were developing the characters. Um, but it, it was still good. It had some wonky kind of CGI. Yeah. Like there was a scene with a deer that looked like the Walking Dead infamous CGI deer looked better <laughs> than this. I was like, wow, that's terrible. But overall, me personally, on I will probably give this movie... I'll give it 2.5 Smiths. Now, remember, I only um, judge on a five-point scale. So, that's like right in the middle. It was okay. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible either. It was worth a check out if you like horror movies. What about you? I gave it a seven. Um, like I said, it, it was it was uh, slow for me in the beginning, even though they gave you a, a little bit of action right up front. But it was kind of slow throughout the movie and then it picked up really good towards the end. Um, it did give me a little bit of insight of what teens go through just on the regular why you know not feeling good about themselves because of different situations of who they are of who they, yeah be, so. Um, so it did give me a little bit of insight of that but i give it a seven overall okay well there you have it uh that's a, a 2.5 from smith a seven from lolly on her scale which is just one to ten and uh, I guess we would say it's, it's Smith and Lolly approved. It's it worth a check out, like Definitely. I said, as long as you, you know, if you're not bothered by the subject matter, you know. So um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in as always. And we appreciate your time. Please let us know if you saw the movie. Let us know what did you think about it or, you know, respectful in the comments if you don't mind. That'll be great. But um, we ask that you also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Um, like, comment, you know, let us know what share. you think. Yeah, share. That's the <laughs> important thing. But uh, what I want you to do, the most important thing is to be inspired. Be inspirational. Be. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Hi, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to like and subscribe.